Oh, just like Colin here, thought I'd do a quick update. I uh, took come see water pump rig. Uh, that's what the stack ended up being. I ran it for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm not quite, can't remember how much I ran it for. Of course, without the pump attached. Um, I flipped this pulley around so I can have a slightly smaller one on the pump. So I can run the engine slightly higher to uh, prevent uh, it being a thumper. A diesel generator uh, pulled the starter off. Uh, checked that, turned out to be fine. It ended up being a bad connection for the trigger wire. Uh, uh, just the valves that were decent. They were. Not too far out. Uh, I ended up destroying the valve cover gasket, so I had to order a new one. Uh, you don't see the fuel filter. Well, here it is. Um, the new filter I bought does not even fit in the housing, let alone it has a bigger opening on it, so. Got a new one on order. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this thing will st start decent now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait for the valve cover gas to come in next weekend to button the rest of it up. So, and, sorry, uh, down there is the fuel tank. I filled that with three gallons of fuel. And I ran, sorry, I, I put it away. Uh, military generator off that. And as you can see, my new exhaust. Uh, it's not as loud, but it is loud. <coughs> so I might end up, end up maybe putting a bigger muffler on it, or I might just leave it. Uh, so... I ran it for an hour and a, no wait, two and a half, three hours. Had no problems on that 350 watt load. Uh, and the thing only pulls fuel when it needs it. So that's literally, I'll have more of an update next weekend. So I feel pretty good on getting stuff done uh, that thing is done I, that can go to my storage unit but I gotta thaw more ice in front of it oh well we'll be right back I'm back I figured I'd go over what what the starter tests actually uh, came out to be don't worry about this ref this part number because that's just a part number that he put in to make the thing work <coughs> Uh, 13.95, five. That's and that thing spun super fast. Uh, 52.74 amps is what it pulled. That equates to about 735 watts. Uh, yeah. unloaded. Uh, the thing that thing cranks pretty good. I did tear apart that starter. Uh, Right there, uh, pulled the solenoid off, made sure that worked, bench tested it, uh, and I also lubed the, the uh, throat fork and the uh, bearing on on the front of it. So I figured I would add that. Be right back. Hello, Josh McCollin. Thought I'd do a quick update on the diesel generator. As you can see, the shrouds are back on. In the background, you can hear my military generator running. I'm doing sort of a fuel fuel consumption test well anyways back to this um, got the new valve cover gasket put on uh, fuel filter was a different story okay I bought a new filter housing came with a filter funny story is this is the filter I bought thought I would, thought I would fit this no uh, it ended up being this size so I ended up just using the old filter housing and the new filter 
and putting it back on the generator because that part right there where the bolt goes is actually thicker. So I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna put, put that back on. And I had to bleed the fuel system on it. Uh, once I got the, ran for about 10 minutes, maybe five, it blew a bunch of white smoke, but that was primarily due to there's a little bit of air left in the line. I'm gonna button this back up and run it for about two hours. See how it goes. Uh, I put the valve lash, according to my manual, to about 0.2 millimeters on the high end, or on the loose end. Uh, it also called for 0.15 millimeter. I went on the slightly higher and it will eventually wear in. Uh, I tested the new voltage regulator. It's hovering about 12, 4, 5 to 12, uh, 12, 5, 5. Occasionally it bumps up to 13. <coughs> I'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to get the governor set to exactly perfect uh, because I got my tools here and I'm not under a time crunch. Be right back. Hello, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, neither are one of these runs. A, it's close to supper. I don't feel like running that until I actually have some supper. And B, this thing ain't charging again. Uh, I also dialed in the engine to exactly right around 60 hertz, maybe a little low. Uh, I'll probably... Under no load, it's about 62. Under load, it's like 59, 8, 60, something like that. Um, big topic is this little 5 amp fuse. I don't know if you can tell. It's blown. So it's probably a hindsight that uh, I got a proper voltage regular that says 13 and a half volts plus or minus half volt current uh, 10 amps so 5 amp fuse you ain't gonna cut it uh, and once it reaches uh, 13 and a half volts it won't re require 10 amps it's just the initial draw get the battery back up but now it, it the starter now hits every single time, so that's kind of nice. But I was watching the voltage drop. This is, you know what, something's up. So I, so I happened to pull the fuse and it was blown. Oh well. Uh, so I'm actually gonna convert it to a ATO style standard automotive fuse. Also, I didn't really wanna uh, deal with the hot air gun here anymore so I picked up this low pro profile heat gun because that big heat gun would probably uh, do put a lot of heat in that area so I got I got to disconnect the battery or at least the negative uh, and basically solder in these two uh, fuse holders. I'm going to probably put the 10 amp there and then I got to open up the other one, see what size that is. Be right back. Bye. I'm back. That I do. Just a little quick update before I roll this outside to run or might not even bother. Uh, so this is basically what it is. Uh, 10 amp is down there for the AC side of the <coughs> voltage regulator and the 20 amp coming off the starter. Funny enough, uh, the 20 amp fuse, if I can find it, well, it was broken right there at the metal glass uh, thing, so I that fuse wouldn't have lasted much longer. So, good thing I fixed that now. I can uh, basically use just a standard automotive fuse to uh, 
to uh, fix it. So, throw it back. I'm back. As you can see, it's running again, and I don't know if you can hear me, but it is running at 13.35 volts on the charging. Thought I'd do a quick ending snippet, fourth take, go figure. A um, few things, uh, battery charging, when I first started it was probably 13.2, 13.3, it crept up to 13.4, so I'm happy about that. Uh, frequency uh, deviation was a one and a half ish hertz, which is well within 5% distortion, so I'm happy about that. Military generator uh, is running well under the 350 watt load. I plan on uh, having a like a light box for that uh, using incandescent or LED lamps with the old old filament type. I'd have to run quite a few of those. Quite haven't decided what direction I'm going. Uh, and if I'm going to have to do any further growth with the sh with my display, if especially, especially if I get a, another electrically heated steam engine or two, I would have to get either a big, bigger generator or run another generator. I could always resurrect the 1500 watt military generator I got for free from a co-worker. Um, I'm sort of leaning towards a bigger diesel generator. Um, I ha I'm looking at a few. I won't, won't, I won't, won't need it for a few years. So I'm just looking at this point. Um, either uh, there is a Chinese uh, 9,000 watt air cooled uh, single that be kind of interesting, but chi it's a Chinese generator. Um, I'm also looking at Winco, Gillette, uh, or Generac. They all have like ones that have a thousand watts more rated, uh, or no, not rated, but uh, surge, only like 500 watts, whatever. Um, or a a like a home standby diesel generator that's rated eight and a half. Kilowatts 
three cylinder Perkins. Um, that is a big expense. I'm not really looking at that right now, and I'm not quite sure how long I'll be needing the generator. So I'll probably go resurrect the 1500 watt. I could also resurrect the 1200 watt Briggs that I picked up in Aurora. So that would be another 2000-ish watts to, for running. Uh, those are both gas. Uh, whatever. Um, so, yeah. I'm, thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Bye.